All right, guys, here we go. Let me show you a couple of my most passive websites on the interwebs today. And I'll should tell you guys exactly how passive they are. Okay, share my screen. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but I'm going to start off with Bentonville Concrete. You guys have heard me talk about this. Okay, get out of my face. So this is us right here, Bentonville Concrete. We're in the maps. This is also us ranked number one. You can also type in uh, uh, concrete contractor uh, Bentonville AR. Rank number two here, rank number one here, okay? This is my website. Guys, I'm going to let you know, I the last time I messaged this person was on about business because once in a while we'll talk about random stuff like he just randomly sent me something a couple weeks ago about some completely random thing but the last time he asked about business guys was on november 10th friday november 10th of last year he said hey brother i've sent a bunch of emails back and forth i'd like to get together and talk and figure out how i can really expand this business i know you guys are good at what you do so let's just and so are we. I want your help. Let's figure out how we can do this together. So the only reason this guy even texts me is because he was asking me for more business, okay? This is one of my most passive websites. It's glued to the top. We haven't logged into this thing in years. Haven't changed it in years. I haven't talked to my business owner since November. There you have it. And even then, I would never even got on a call with him. Not yet, okay? That's my first one. My second one is one called St. George Epoxy. If you type in St. George Epoxy, Epoxy St. George, it's called stgeorgeepoxy.com. Check out this beaut. This guy right here is an absolute just pile of you know what it's super basic whatever but it works and i'm going to look up the business owner so i can show you guys or tell you guys at least uh the last time i got a text from him i have three unread messages from him march 15th two messages on march 15th and a message on march 16th the last thing he said is we still need to do your pool to your pool deck lol okay Homie's still trying to scrape my business. No problem. Come and give me a quote on it. I don't really mind, okay? This website right here, we also have not logged into in years. We talked to the business owner. What did I say the date was? Uh, it's been over a year. That's 2023. It's been a year, July, August, September. Been a year and two months. Haven't talked to the client, okay? Let's give you guys uh, uh, one more. We'll do St. George Concrete. Type this in. You're going to see us. We are running ads. See sponsored here, us. We're ranked number one underneath the, the map, or sorry, the, the paid. This is it, okay? I'm sorry, this this is, okay, here's a perfect example. This is not my website. I'm I'm lying to you. It's, uh, I think it was Scott who was asking. So look at this, guys, okay? We got, this should give you guys so much freaking excitement. So we got ConcreteStGeorge.com, which has been there for a long time, okay? They're actually outranking me. I'm StGeorgeConcreteCO.com. Okay, I was what that site looked a little too nice for it to be mine. Okay, this is my site in all of its glory. Just it's, it's a beaut. And this website makes me $375 per week. This client, let me just go ahead and check. Oh, uh, what the hell is his name? Oh, this is gonna be a problem. Um is it shit? What is his ah yes, I just remembered it. That's what it is. Yep. Okay. November 18th, 2022. I got one text from him. November 18th, 2022. These guys have spent with me. Let me look. What the hell? Okay, not that, not that, not that right there. I uh, know that's, is that it? No, that's not it, dude. Okay, oh, right there, there it is. Okay, this client pays me 375 a week, has paid me to date five, five oh, sorry, $57,000 on the nose. Okay, been with me since November 3rd of 2021. The website you're looking at, not ranked number one, not ranking in the maps. Don't even think I have a maps listing. This thing is churning out leads, 375 bucks a week. Unfreaking believable. Okay, this is some of my most passive websites and uh, I just grab those ones for fun, okay? 
just to give you guys a bit of an idea. And guys, here's why I think this model is so passive. I think this model is really passive because it's such a binary transaction. I give you leads, you give me money. You give you give me money, I give you leads. If you stop giving me leads, I stop giving you money. If I stop giving you money, you stop giving me leads. Done, done, done. There's no reporting. There's no this. It, can you do this stuff? Yes. Do you have to? No. Okay. No other business model I know that's such a cut and dry transaction that's you do this or I and I do this or else we're done because the arrangement, there's no room for fluff, right? When you're doing SEO, you could do almost nothing for the client. It took you no time. Or you could go hire somebody in the Philippines to do backlinks, do 100 backlinks, and you come to the business owner and go, dude, look, I did 100 backlinks for your website. And by the way, blah, 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 it doesn't even make sense, but you're able to show them and craft it to make it look like you want it to look. The, the, the downside is, with this business model, you can't fake it, man. And I, I think that's an upside, but you can't fake it. You can't fake work you didn't do, because if leads don't come in, leads don't come in, and they're paying for leads. That's why I think this business model is so passive. It's very cut and dry. It's leads for dollars. Thank you.